You can't drink beer on my show, though, so just so you know. I'll finish mine. Mm -hmm. Here we are. From Nada. Welcome back to the BS with TG, episode number whatever it is, with Nottis. We're here at the Juice office because I happen to be in town and we needed a place to hang out and set up and so they're kind enough to let us use their space, which is awesome. So we're just gonna shoot the shit, just like we always do. So I'm gonna, I was thinking about this early, I was just gonna maybe start, what I wanted to start with first initially was like, what have you been doing? Because like, <laughs> No one knows what you've been doing for like the last 20 years. I was wondering where you're gonna start. I think since like uh, the skateboarding times, the transition was, uh, I guess, getting used in uh, all the advertisements, you know, you know how that feels. Yeah. <laughs> like suddenly your photo ends up in a printed ad and it kind of got me started thinking about like graphics and advertising and marketing. And so that's what I'm still doing. I'm helping out a clothing company, Birdwell Beach Bridges, which is actually an old, uh, California brand. They still sew the board shorts here in, in California. Rad. And uh, it's pretty neat because some of the same sewers have been there for 30 years. So it's, it's a definite departure from earlier where I was working with Quicksilver. Right. Um, where it's this big uh, publicly traded company and um, there's just all those mechanisms. And here I'm like looking at the sewers as we're talking about what we're making. So that covers a good chunk. Yeah. I don't know, 15 years, yeah. I think we knocked it out. No. <laughs> 15 years and 15 wow. seconds. But anyway, I know I got, a, I got I've been doing a, um, still like kind of graphics and that kind of marketing stuff, so. Um, Just more freelance or? Yeah, so uh, different things pop up uh, either through skateboarding or different things I've done. I, I did a thing with uh, Nike for their last, last and only snowboard video and that kind of led into another uh, snowboard video I did kind of the titles and graphics for it which hasn't come out yet but that was super fun and just as random all over but the main thing is uh, Birdwell and that sort of like yeah. it's kind of close to the heart too and it makes sense this kind of California based that's right I remember you told me about that um but then you had a window like a stint with a kind of audio manufacturing company for a little bit yeah you did that and the but the the and I, the big one was quicksilver for a while that was i took up like i was full-time yeah uh, um just about 10 years i started as like freelance graphic design um became an art director they wouldn't well before that they wouldn't let me touch this, this the <laughs> the surfing part and uh david carson was doing that and i was doing the uh, skateboarding and snowboarding wanted to look like skateboarding and then it then the surfers wanted to look like the other stuff <laughs> so it ended up this whole thing and um, it was super fun. Like um, everyone's pretty, pretty neat and just cool to work with. Just you know, people are doing what the passion is, whatever the athlete is, whatever sure. you want to call it. Yeah. So uh, super fun and so many parallels and like stayed friends with a lot of the guys. Cause, like they have the same kind of creative mindset of like what can I do with this? Like be it a wave or right. a mountain or a skate park. So yeah, pretty neat. Well. It's what's rad is you've stayed creative. I mean, you've always been a creative person. Like ever since I've known you, I mean, painting and drawing and shit, and and finding finding vehicles for what you want to do. You've seemed to be doing it like for a yeah. very long for ever since skating. I mean, really, you know, like you went out and you're just staying in a creative mode, which is rad. Yeah, it's just sort of what fits my physical abilities. I guess <laughs> you know how that is. You're playing yeah. music. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Your feet don't always do what you want them to do. Like, <laughs> like it's a little slower. Like walk. Yeah. So okay. Well, you've been you're doing all the graphic design and stuff. And then you go back and back. Okay. Now there's there's a part in your history 
with Santa Monica Airline, it became it became part of World yep. it, for a little bit. You kind of let Rocco use it. Like, what was that happening there? I, you know, I, I'm not super sure <laughs> my understanding is accurate either. <laughs> But I'm with you. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah. then it seemed like the legal matter was different. And it was funny because I stayed friends with Skip and Rocco. So it was touch and go there. I, 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 you were kind of in the middle, through, huh? We have to go through the court documents because I like them both. And I was like, <laughs> what's going on? My understanding was kind of how you said it. And then, uh, yeah. 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 <laughs> Well, okay, so we don't need to talk about that, but there was that point in, like, I, I remember being, I remember coming over to your house, I, I used to come down and, and bum rush your couch quite often, me and Jim and Mick and everybody, we all stayed at your place. And, and likewise, uh, reciprocally. Yeah, this is true. <laughs> and then, so I remember one time you're like, oh yeah, Rocco was like sleeping on your floor or something, <laughs> like for a while in the kitchen. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. And, 100%. Yeah. So... <laughs> And then that was like the transition of the Santa Monica thing into him doing the world. But okay, so there's that. But then Santa Monica became part of Santa Cruz, right? After. After, right? Yeah. Yeah. And I think, if I remember right, some, there was some legal stuff going on, oh, which was like, anyway. Um, I'll, I'll be over here. Was, yeah. <laughs> you know who set the, the first deal up with Santa Cruz was uh, Christian Asoy. And he had, right. was like, well, that seems to be working. They're getting to do whatever they want. And it seems the, the distribution is happening. Um, but what actually <laughs> the, the main inspiration probably was I couldn't get a board to ride. Like they, were, they had sold them all. I needed a, just something to ride. It's not about like money or cash or anything. It's more like be nice to like. You Save know. me a couple. <laughs> <laughs> Even back then, you'd ride them for like a month or yeah, something. It's all yeah. chipped until the tail. I don't know what, until when you decided, like, the pop was gone. <laughs> but like, so it was this point of like, well, I would like a new board and would like it to be mine because <laughs> I have a board. And, and it didn't, it wasn't happening. We had to wait because there wasn't money to order the next. And I was like, man, this has got to change. So that was like, that was probably the first inspiration to change. This is dark ages. Yeah, yeah, no, I know, yeah. <laughs> this is mid 80s. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, so we set up a deal. Um, and I was happy just to have new shapes to try, new concaves to try, have a constant flow of boards, and whatever amount of money worked out. Like, it wasn't yeah. about getting the most. And, like, Skip was along for the ride. So it wasn't, it was like, yeah. it worked out for a while. It, yeah, it seemed like it, because that was rad, because. When Thebo started riding for you guys and, and, and Mickey and Julian, you guys had the super rad crew. And it seemed, it seemed re like really cool and it seemed like it was working out well. Like you guys did the Cadillac tour. That was so oh, fun. Amazing. One of the things was none of us were over 21. <laughs> so we couldn't rent car. Like there's, oh, we couldn't get hotels. That's right. The, and... It was during that whole period actually you couldn't rent a car so i think it was national or thrifty that let us like rent cars and i tried to stay loyal to them as long as i could because it was awesome because it was like everyone else was like yeah no like a bunch of kids like i mean it was yeah, it's funny i think we have a photo somewhere i should dig it up like uh me and thebo because jim was like you know he's an older responsible guy that's he, right you're still leaning on that, his, that's his right. wisdom that's just true um, we had a paper map and we're seeing how far we can drive and where the demo should be and like <laughs> hilarious like that's a literal we're like how, like you know santa cruz was saying we can't set it up for you and we're like how hard can it be like you can only drive so far in a day and you just set up a demo there and then you drive the next place you set up a demo there. like that's what we did um that was amazing and and in retrospect maybe instead of 80s era Cadillacs. We could have used a van or two. <laughs> it seemed it was pretty comfy. Yeah, I mean, you know, and if they worked, but there was a yeah. bunch of they broke down and only you know. one of them. The rest made it. Yeah. Well, yeah. Didn't it wasn't that an ad? Didn't you have an ad where like you're broken down on the side of the road or something like from that trip? Wasn't there something or? If, there's something There's I remember photos, in printed. Sure. There's like something in print where I, I think like one of the caddies is broken out on the side of the road. It's Oil plug on the pan went out on one of the Cadillacs in the middle of nowhere. 
and uh, some of the nicest locals came and they're like, happened to be painting a car in the middle of the night at the warehouse. And they're like, we might have something that fits. So anyway, we left half the crew there to like deal with that car and nice. they didn't have the exact thing in the, that night. So uh, they fixed it in the morning and we saw the crew pretty quick. You can cut to other interviews. I'm sure other people have different moments, but I was pretty like steadfast on seeing it through. Alan Peterson, did he ever make oh, it? Oh yeah, he was on, on most of it. Yeah. 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 No, we were teaching him how to drive through the canyons and such. Uh, yeah, he was a little heavy on the brakes. We were like <laughs> teaching him the coast. Yeah. So Santa Monica Airlines was synonymous with Skip, right? Pretty yeah. much like, so how did, how did you meet him? And then how did you guys start making boards? Um, and that, what year was that? So I was riding my dinosaur in black and white. <laughs> I saw him on the side of the door. Um, uh, actually, one of, uh, one of my old friends, one of the local friends, Skip was working at uh, Natural Progression, which was a surf shop, local surf shop, or local surf factory, actually. Um, and uh, he's like, oh, and you skip, and he linked us. And he was like, oh, you got to check out how he skates. And like, Skip literally was like, oh, skate around the parking lot then. And <laughs> Show me your stuff, kid. Yeah, kind of, like right? a little bit of that. Yeah. And um, oh, so it was mid-80s, 86 or something. Um, and uh, I had been like working on just flat ground ollies and like, the kind of cabalarial stuff and I did a couple of those and he never saw that and I guess no one had and he was like yeah, yeah you're on it's good <laughs> and he he was already cutting boards out of blanks Santa Monica Airlines have been around since 76 um yeah. funny I get I guess the connection was I was at a local surf comp uh I had won and my my prize was uh a Santa Monica Airlines board oh, and God. it was it was like I don't know, 12 inches wide, <laughs> like this crazy like board. And, the uh, pigs, right? Like the yeah. dog town was doing and those was things. Street skating it and um, broke it immediately. Like all ate out of a curb and like. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I guess, I think it's like how the tail was and the wheelbase and whatnot. So um, anyway, so I told him that and that was kind of the connection. And so he started, we started working out the best way to make boards and like clearly it wasn't the best idea to like do like these pig noses and like these weird things and if you look at the first boards we actually he did a lot of he was doing them by hand and spray painting them and stuff and i was breaking them and then, <laughs> he's <laughs> making them you're breaking them and he was like painting them like really nice and like yeah. and they just and i was like oh sorry like i, I don't know like <laughs> he it takes him longer to yeah. paint than oh, you yeah. oh. i broke one in the lot and it was like you could tell he was, he was bummed and he couldn't hide it but then we got back. anyway what was there wheel wells like those big oh, ones yeah. uh, -huh. uh well, there was that but it was also like the truck was right on the kick and it wasn't up right anyway it's like again like caveman stuff because i remember when i had come down and some of the stuff that he would do to your board like that you were trying out like when you would do the discs mm -hmm. on like on top like you take a disc sander is that what it was and, and yeah. kind of create ridges yeah on yeah. the top of the board. Yeah, he was looking at me all in. He's like, oh, you can probably pick the board up more that yeah. way. And it's like, okay. Which led to more board breakage. <laughs> like, yeah, way down the bottom, like, to, like, um, places to grab, like, ribs and ridges and stuff. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, actually, like, all the way through Santa Cruz, like, if you look at those old um, concaves, they're, like, stepped. Yeah. And, like, yeah. tons of, like, little kinks and stuff. Totally. And, there were some weird ideas happening, and remember the tail that went like that? Oh, like look, Santa Cruz was doing the, the, the oh the do, dog ears or whatever. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, and, I mean, <laughs> but it had a lot going on in yeah. the concave, a lot. Totally, maybe too much. <laughs> well, I think you know people were you were trying different things, different ideas, and and it's like you know it's the same thing as like oh let's use carbon fiber and let's try you know and you're like it's still not. It's still, it's like the classic simplest is, is, seems to be best. Yeah, it almost makes more sense than like sticking with wood. You know, yeah, it's like, yeah. it's gotta be something better, but yeah, maybe not. Maybe, <laughs> yeah, may, maybe not. So, okay, yeah, because I, I just remember coming down and seeing some of your boards and just going, what the fuck is going on? Like, what, what is that? And then, and, you know, and then we go skate and then you're like, do you have a disc sander I can borrow? <laughs> you know, you're like trying to fucking copy whatever he was doing. It's the same thing when, and then Mark started wearing, maybe it was both of you guys, uh, bolts upside down. 
the, on the front truck. You know, that was funny. Well, I never... That was not you, uh -uh. but it was I, Mark. For a second, I did bolts upside down on the back truck for whatever reason, but I for like two boards. Like, it wasn't... A thing. No. Well, I remember Mark did it, like, for a minute, you know, for front foot. Same kind of idea, though, like, Ollie, catch like, it. catch it, yeah. right? Yeah. And then, so, of course, everyone just all, you know, putting their bolts in upside down. Oh, of course. I know you do. <laughs> you're like, then you do it. So I think I did it once. I was like, nope. Yeah, like, yeah, totally. You're like, all right, that doesn't make any sense. It's so crazy to think about it, like, all the ideas that were out there and it kind of... He used to screw plastic handles into the bottom of our board. <laughs> I tell you what, and we used to go farther and glide longer. And then you realize that you're like, well, you can't, without them, you can board slide like anything because you don't get caught. Like shit with like bricks or whatever, you know? Like, Speaking anyway. of Skip, though, I got to say one thing. Yeah. Like his, his attitude and how he introduced me, he was like so old school. He introduced me to everyone, Larry Balma and Fausto and everyone who's doing anything and just left it flat. He wasn't pushing on it, he was just like, hey, here's everyone I know. And I was like, rad, these are neat people, thanks. Like it wasn't like, it wasn't agent guy or anything, but it's just yeah, like, right. I think it set up a lot of neat kind of uh, relationships I had like for years. So I kind of took after him too, of like not pushing too hard one way or the other. He was a uh, pretty, Pretty neat that way. I think Stacy was like that too. He kind of totally. cut from that same cloth. Totally. He knew Skip from back then. I think he kind of learned maybe, kind of imprinted some of the same lessons. Like, yeah, it's pretty, pretty cool. Yeah, super cool. And then, okay, whatever. I don't know what happened with Santa Monica and Santa Cruz. You started 101. Yep. How did how did that come to be? Like, because I don't know, I don't know within there in that transition. Like, yeah, that was like. It was through my friendship with Mark and Rocco and how they had set up blind. You're like, wow, that's a like a way better setup than what we have. Like, cause we're sort of on a, at Santa Cruz, like on a royalty system. Yeah. And uh, we're really open in the negotiations about that of like, hey, this doesn't, you know, maybe this is how it is, but we have a better deal down here. Yeah. Like, do you want to match it? We're like really up front yeah and it was and they're like we, we can't and no and we're like can't right. no i was like um well um i just see a better like deal a whole thing the one thing i do regret and still and i, I talked to i think jim about the like breaking clean with everyone from that squad which uh it just felt like a clean break for me i think freak i was still like 20 something <laughs> like so it was like young and not uh, not full responsible on that side but like being able to uh break off from santa cruz and and actually being really upfront with all those guys too like we it was like a eight month breakup like it almost took a year like, right it was like cool sell it all off i'm here for you like right. we're gonna do everything and uh i'm gonna start this thing up and uh we did and it's just just more freedom and um you know, it just made more sense it's kind of financially and stuff. Yeah. That's all new thing. And, okay, where does 101 come from anyway? The freeway? Was that right? <laughs> is it 101 or is that what everyone thought? Or It was going to be, not that this clarifies anything, but it was going to be 101 Dalmatians for no good reason, I think. And that got shortened down to 101 and that, yeah. that kind of made sense. Yeah, that made a little more sense. <laughs> I always thought for some reason, like, I had heard, like, the freeway, like, 101, like, you know, but... Um. I don't know if that no, it was more like this kind of like industrial numbering, and on top of that, it was more like a kind of the educational like 101. It's like basics and right. learning. And right. So anyway, so you went and you started this new thing, and and so it was like a breath of fresh air, I'm sure. And and you were it was like your deal, and you pretty much called the shots, right? Right. Actually, Rodney was a huge help on that too. Like right. Rodney Mullen was sort of like scouting and and. Um, kind of hyping and but then also people kind of came to us there was a couple of people i definitely wanted and um other you know people came around it's like that's that's a great idea <laughs> <laughs> yeah totally so how long did that last that stint four or five years i think it kind of ended awkwardly <laughs> um what, <laughs> you can or cannot go into it. <laughs> whatever you whatever you want yeah. to do Okay, then we're gonna go farther back really quick. 
because I, I jumped. <laughs> Can you? Is it possible? <laughs> I'm not trying to date you or anything. You know what I mean? You know, we're, we're, you're not, you know, we're not fucking young. We're not spring chickens. I like figs better. <laughs>